Happy holidays to all you special boys and girls out there this year. This is the time of the year to feel warmth, joy, love, and happiness from all those around, especially from friends, family, loved ones, and those shitty holiday specials. I got me here an underrated holiday cult classic known as All of the Other Reindeer. This holiday classic has been keeping me warm since Halloween. Not even the Space Eater can keep me warm. This started out as a children's story written by Vivian Walsh in the year 1997, and then was birthed into a film in the year 1999, as was myself. This children's special was written by Steve Young, directed by Oscar Moore, produced by Matt Groening, the man behind The Simpsons and Futurama. This film stars Drew Barrymore as Olive the Other Rain Dog, Dan Castellaneta, Billy West, Joe Pantoliano, and the whole animation was done by DNA Production. They've been known for doing such hits as Jimmy Neutron. Hello Jimmy, hello you. I am going to make a delicious dinner meal. Jimmy, your mom is dead. Do an order of pizza for dinner. But this is by far the worst thing that any of them have ever worked on, before or after. And that's not including Charlie's Angels too. <laughs> Here we meet our adorable protagonist, Olive. Why the hell does she look so hideous? Everyone in this world looks like the result of a bukkake lasting for over a thousand generations. Everyone looks like I can grab their face like a grip or a, a stress ball. Every day special, I'm not complaining, but I'm already counting the days still remaining. <coughs> oh, dear, it's too big. What's the matter, Rhoda? My husband and I took the kids out to buy a Christmas tree, but they're all much too big. Too big, huh? Wait right here. Here you go. Why the fuck would she buy them a 2D scented car tree? How cheap is that? I mean, how are they possibly going to decorate the tree? Tiny ornaments? Rolex. Hmm? Genuine Rolex. We are introduced to Martini, voiced by Joe Pantoliano. You might know him more from The Matrix as the bald guy, or from Baby's Day Out as the bald guy. He plays the sleazy, not so trustworthy con artist. Kind of like in Matrix and Baby's Day Out. Are you selling counterfeit watches again? I warned you, I'll first of all, they're real Rolexes. Olive gets yelled at by her dick brain owner that is not surprised at all to have a human like dog. How are your dog chores coming? Did you bury any bones today? Chase any cars or cats? Did you even make a token attempt to tear up any flower beds? And I haven't heard any senseless barking at all. I don't know how you can call yourself a dog, Olive. Put the program, Olive, and start acting like a dog. No, go out there and cause havoc. Disrupt the peace. Cause me money and property damage. Just go out there and be an animal. Capping our top story. Santa is expected to cancel his traditional Christmas Eve flight. <gasps> Blitz and the Reindeer was injured earlier today during a practice flight and won't recover in time. Santa had this to say. Ho, ho, ho. I'm not sure if I'll have to cancel, but it doesn't look good. Maybe somehow we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? He said maybe we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. You silly flea. No. He said, Olive, the other reindeer, I heard him. Santa needs you to be the replacement reindeer. So why does Olive's flea lie to her about what Santa said on the radio? It makes zero sense. Maybe it was purposely put in the movie to intentionally to piss me off. We get introduced to the mailman, whom we've seen earlier, and he begins to sing about how much he is annoyed. Essentially, he's our antagonist due to his already pissy attitude on Christmas. We're breaking the cycle of despair. By next year, people will have forgotten about Christmas. Bug and hum. They cut down bigger, fatter logs so I can bring more catalogs. You know, this evil postman has a point. We should conserve and secure a better tomorrow by using less paper to begin with rather than just keep recycling it. Screw Christmas! Save the earth! The time is now for Reagan. Did priority! What's one more pain in my posteriority? Posteriority? Poster? 
priority? Okay, so I had to look this one up, and basically posteriority means an older priority. So, they just used this weird word wrong just so he could put in his ass. So here's one vote for cancellation. So turn around, go back home, Roma, as of now. Christmas is over. You're not a reindeer. You can't fly. You can't do anything. Yeah, you stupid dog. You can actually walk, talk, and actually has a Christmas spirit. You're nothing. You stop pissing on my anti-holiday spirit. You're gonna piss off my old man Ebenezer. So Olive continues onward with her destiny of saving Christmas. I need a ticket to the North Pole. Bus in 34. Wait, buses run from the continental U.S. to the North Pole? This dog committed mail fraud. I'm taking her into custody. What's all this about? Is this cop the stupidest son of a bitch or what? Like, who allows public kidnapping? Martini, I'm innocent. I'll root for you on court TV. <laughs> Mmm, wow! The classic toss the pen 50 yards trick works every time! Come on! Yeah, like the time I suddenly had no brakes going down the mountain road. What did you do? Hmm, I don't remember. But I guess it must have turned out alright. Maybe we should have taken a train. <laughs> Jeez, dude, calm down. The Grinch-like mailman is like now destined to stop Olive at her own game of saving Christmas. He's desperate to wreck Christmas, but I'm not going to let him. Deliver this, punk! Ah! How is that even possible? I can barely throw a paper airplane in the inside. Oh, the throw, dude. You should be a quarterback, not a penguin. So Olive and friends go to a clean and healthy truck stop to break off the road and get something to eat. Along behind them is the looming threat of the mailman. He shows up disguised as a waitress. Santa Claus has scheduled a press conference for 11 o'clock tonight. He is expected to cancel his flight for the first time ever. Hey everybody, don't despair. I'm Olive and I'm going to the North Pole to help Santa. So the overall point of this special, if it hasn't been crammed in your face by this point, is that Olive is convinced that the only way to save Christmas is to replace one of Santa's wounded reindeer. You're Olive the other reindeer? Santa's looking for you. He's out in the parking lot. He wants to give you a flying test. Oh boy, my big moment. Wish me luck, guys. Coming, Santa! I think the waitress likes me. Two bros. Then why would you why are you interested? Are you guys even compatible? Santa couldn't make it. <gasps> but I'll let him know you failed the test. <laughs> hey, don't tamper with the mail. It's a federal offense. Oh, tampering with mail is a horrible offense, oh, okay, but then. kidnapping is perfectly fine according to this psychopath. Great first. Olive escapes the moving mail truck with just a simple file and starts to wander aimlessly until she bumps back into Martini, who hasn't left the station for some reason. Listen, we missed the bus! Olive and Martini have missed their bus to go to the North Pole, but put their lives in danger by asking a total stranger for a ride. Olive and Martini walk into a biker bar full of people, arm wrestling, drinking eggnog, and... Easter Bunny? Then they are approached by a reindeer and his homosexual colleagues. And they just find it hilarious to play catch with live animals. Hey, let's take her up to the roof and see how she flies. Maybe I'm just a little runt with no antlers, but it looks like I'm the only one who's trying to save Christmas. You could at least wish me luck. There are actually people out there who want to cancel Christmas. Are you on their side? Uh. Throwing someone off a roof. Is that how you want to remember Christmas? He can take you up in his half truck. So one of the members of the bar offers Martini oh and Olive a ride to the North Pole. And because this is like the doors of Best Buy on Black Friday, everyone wants to get in. So Martini pays the man in city zoo envelopes 
and the guy's like overly happy about it for some reason. Like he's been neglected of envelopes his whole life. Bye, Rev John. Goodbye. Good luck. Olive walks up to the gate of the North Pole, Olive. and Peter at the security gate booth denies her access inside. Uh, Olive, Olive, no Olive on my list. Can't let you in. No. Olive no. even asks, Don't "Do you, you even, even care, care about Christmas?" No. And the asshole still says no. Plus, at this point, when you feel kind of stupid at how wrong you feel and just want to go home. Time to think of plan B. So Martini decides to trick the guard to turn off the electric fence and distract him while Olive sneaks in. His excuse, however, is that the electric fence would be interfering with the satellite and the watch that he's working on. Kill the alarms along the fence for a minute, though. What? Well, otherwise, the electromagnetic wave will interfere with the signals from the satellite. Wouldn't it be in your security training to never turn off the electricity fence without the correct approval from your higher up or superior? Especially from a random civilian who just turns out to be a talking penguin? What are these guys smoking? So the evil postman arrives to carry on with his dastardly deed, which is to deliver false hate letters to Santa, convincing him to cancel his yearly flight. Isn't it a little late to be delivering Christmas wish cards to Santa on Christmas Eve? Let's do the press conference. So Santa asks the very same question the audience is asking themselves. Can't we fly with seven reindeer? I doubt we can handle it, Chief. Dear Santa, I hate you. Don't come to my house, Johnny. Here's my letter to Santa this year. Dear Santa, I want an Xbox One X, Call of Duty, World War II, a brand new Ultra HD TV, a year-long subscription to Netflix. Well, I guess an old-fashioned baseball bat wouldn't hurt, too. And if you don't come through, then I'll unfollow you, you stupid, fat, silly fuck. I guess Santa never actually considered them getting sick or, you know, dying or breaking a leg, you know? I guess that magic spell doesn't actually pay off. Well, can you fly, Olive? Can you afford not to find out? Well, now. So in true Rudolph fashion, Santa just nods his head to the idea of this unwanted underdog to take the helm of the sleigh team. Because Santa is a nervous wreck this time of the year. Olive asks, where is Rudolph? And Arania responds, There's no Rudolph, it's just one of those urban legends. You know, that's bullshit. If they had Rudolph, then there would be nine other reindeer that could fly all together, thus not needing Olive. Santa and his new sleigh team set course for the annual holiday flight to deliver the presents around the world. Olive starts fumbling, just as we can expect. Shit, I was surprised she didn't instantly get pulled to the ground and then trampled on and torn to shred, while the other reindeer just run madly all forward, while Santa's whipping them to stay on course. So the plot thickens even more like maple syrup when Santa's team have realized the evil postman has swapped the present sack with his hate mail bag, now almost stopping Christmas for good. Even though I've been naughty, I got all the toys. <laughs> and look, I got another present. I must have been extra bad this year. Martini is now gagged and hostage to the postman. We get to finally hear the real reason why the evil mailman hates Christmas. Said that should have been mine when I was a kid. That was the year Santa started putting me on his naughty list. He didn't cut me any slack, so I'm not cutting him any slack. Credit card offers, catalogs, sweepstakes mailings. Bad news, gang. Somehow we got the wrong sack. So after flying for what seems to be like, you know, like a third of the world, and now realize you don't have the right bag, like, why? We reach one of the pivotal actions of the story, which is stopping the mailman and saving Martini and the gifts before Christmas is over and officially ruined. So the epic battle finally ensues between Olive and the mailman. Upon the sleigh, in mid-flight, Santa's struggling to keep the sleigh level, and the mailman is trying to keep the car on the road by comically keeping one of the foot on the wheel, which is fine, but what's accelerating the car? The final blow that Martini gives causes the mailman to have a heart attack, thus obliterating any potential future for the evil postman. Are you okay, Martini? <laughs> Shaken, but not stirred. <laughs> 
Olive grabs two envelopes as wings. Uh, what's the science behind that one? Merry Christmas, Martini. Uh. Oh no, that Arctic fog. They run into fog on their way home, and just like Rudolph, they have to depend on Olive to use her powerful sniffing abilities to safely travel through the fog, and they are using the scent of Mrs. Claus's cookies. I'm sorry, but we're lost in the fog. Could you smell us home? Mrs. Claus is baking cookies. Cookies? Mmm, gingerbread. Ten degrees starboard. That's so ridiculous. Like, there's gotta be the scent of freshly baked cookies coming from, like, all around the world. All of the other reindeer says Christmas? Huh? I was so worried you'd never come back. I'm sorry I was so mean. Can you ever forgive me? I was so upset about Santa that I forgot I have the best dog in the whole world. So I've got what you wanted for Christmas, too. And that was the love, affection, and the approval of her owner. Oh, and a belly rope, too. Yay. Ho, 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 and thanks for watching this year's holiday special. See you next time. No.